If you'd like to create a brand new workbook, you can simply press Ctrl N, think of N for new, the letter N hold down Ctrl, press the letter N. And you're likely to see a workbook with a name like Book 1, possibly Book 2 depending upon which other workbooks might already be open. But there's another way to start a workbook, and this is going to give you a quick start on a lot of different kinds of workbooks that you might be considering. The file tab in the ribbon has an option called New. There's that choice for blank workbook, that we achieve with Ctrl N. But look at some of the other choices out here, Personal Budget, PayPal. If you're looking at your screen right now, you might be seeing a slightly different list or maybe in a different order. But here are some frequently used, based on Microsoft analysis, kinds of worksheets, workbooks that you might be interested in, and lots of choices here. And not only the ones we're initially seeing, but you'll notice up here, suggested searches, business, personal, searching for online templates. The beauty of these is that they look attractive for the most part. One or two of them here and there is going to catch your eye. Maybe you've been trying to put together an expense report, here's one that's already started, let's click this. Sounds interesting, sounds worthwhile, click create. Not only will this save you a ton of work, but it has formulas built in automatically. So on a certain date, certain account, description, maybe we'll just put in an amount here. Maybe you spent $25 on a meal here. It's got a total off to the right, you see what's happening over here. Maybe you spent $15 on gas here. We see how this is being totaled at the bottom and on the right hand side. There are formulas off to the right. You may or may not understand how they're working, but you might get some insight into that. And as you look at this you think, one day I could probably do something like this on my own without needing this. But not only do you get ideas, this may be pretty much what you need. You've got your own choices here, maybe you don't need this row here, or this row. Maybe you don't need the second row here, right click, and delete that. You might have seen that command. So you do have control over this, you can take advantage of the built-in formulas, redesign it, maybe delete this column, that column. Make it work for you. It's one of many many choices here. So remember, control and to create a new Excel workbook, or file tab in the ribbon, new, and based on one of the templates here, Start building your own workbook based on one of these. Thanks for watching, goodbye.